And, I, and the one thing that my uh, buddy Pat and I were doing, well, you know, this was going to be our holiday heading up to Cambodia. So every night we kind of go back, have dinner, have a beer, sit and talk, you know, talk. Sometimes it feels kind of crazy the things we end up talking about. But I think that's sort of, that's almost a counseling. Mean, counseling's talking and it's just sharing. And I think for us, if I was here by myself going home each night on my own, like some of the families are, you know, the trauma would be, uh, or the difficulty would be there. But for me, it's been pretty good having him here. And, And we hooked up with a rescue team and we were doing search and recover for the three days, just finding bodies, retrieving them from in between rocks, out on the ocean, you know, trapped or hidden in debris. And so we did that and, and that was just quite, you know, shocking. And, um, but at the same time, um, we felt we needed to help. It was just, you know, something that just came naturally. If you can imagine the trauma is of many different layers. We can take the layers away one by one. And when they, when they come, they're dysfunctional. We can sort of take that away. They're sort of buzzing on adrenaline still, but the body is physically exhausted. Um, once we take the adrenaline away, other emotions start to, to sort of come forward. And we can deal with that. And what I've been trying to do and actually accomplishing with most of them is get them to a stage where they can say, okay, I finished my work, you know, four or five days, I've done enough and I'm ready to, to get away and sort of think about getting back to normal life. Tiene que usar de toda la experiencia de uno, la educación, los valores que uno tiene, eh, y todo lo que ha aprendido en toda la vida para ayudar a otros. Sin, sin estudios, sin títulos ni nada, pero no se necesita eso para ayudar a alguien. 